Misused state time and your taxpayer dollars. 10 News has obtained a report detailing numerous accounts of state worker waste. New at 6, 10 News reporter Nanette Miranda has the outrageous thing one worker did to fill his day. From the taxpayer's perspective, it's a very big deal. The biggest case cited this year in the state auditor's report involved a bribery scheme where a courier was able to pay Los Angeles-based employees of the Secretary of State office and the Franchise Tax Board under the table for processing numerous documents and letters off the books that normally cost $15 to $20 a page. All three were convicted and must pay back the state nearly a quarter of a million dollars. What we see here is a lot of absolute, abject, fraudulent activity. You add that to the waste and just the mismanagement of state government, and it, I think it has taxpayers scratching their heads, why, why don't we have more accountability? Auditors also found an EDD technician who's now in prison helped two accomplices illegally obtain nearly $100,000 of unemployment benefits. A natural resources agency executive allowed nearly $50,000 in commuting costs to be reimbursed. A fish and game supervisor required a farmer leasing land from the state to provide him with $5,000 in Home Depot gift cards. And for more than a year, a Department of Education employee who has since resigned filled his workday by posting almost 5,000 comments to stories on the Sacramento Bee website. Most of the 7,000 tips reported to the whistleblower hotline came from state workers who care about how taxpayer money is being spent. Most are good, hardworking employees. All of us are here to do a public service. We should be uh, good stewards of the funds that are being uh, used for, for our services, and we should be vigilant of that. Taxpayer groups want more uncovered. The day-to-day -day oversight of state government is not very sexy, but it's where the real action is, and quite frankly, it's where taxpayer money can be saved. Since the whistleblower hotline was established in 1993, 526 cases worth $31 million have resulted in reprimands, terminations, or convictions. In Sacramento, Nanette Miranda, 10 News.